Feel free to provide more information or ask any questions you may have. I am here to assist you to the best of my abilities. Sebosfato. Let's calculate the acoustic resonant frequency of a cylindrical cavity full of water enclosed on both sides. The acoustic resonant frequency of a cylindrical cavity filled with water enclosed on both ends depends on several factors, including the dimensions of the cavity and the speed of sound in water. Here is a general formula to calculate the fundamental resonant frequency of a cylindrical cavity with closed ends. ends. F igual a C virgula 2 L. Where, F equals fundamental resonant frequency in hertz, hertz, C equals speed of sound in water, approximately 1498 meters per second at room temperature, L equals length of the cylindrical cavity in meters, for a cylindrical cavity with a radius of R and length of L, the volume can be calculated as at V equal R2L. Using this volume, we can calculate the length L of the cavity as at L igual a V virgula R2. Substituting this value of L into the formula for the resonant frequency, we get F igual a C virgula 2 VR2. Simplifying this equation further, we get F igual a C R2 V. So, to calculate the resonant frequency of the cylindrical cavity filled with water enclosed on both sides, you need to know the radius of the cavity and the volume of water inside it. Once you have those values, you can use the formula above to calculate the resonant frequency. Sebosfato. Assume it's completely full of water and it has a length of 5 meters and diameter of 14 centimeters. Okay. So, the radius of the cylindrical cavity is half of its diameter, which is 7 centimeters or 0.07 meters. The length of the cavity is 0.5 meters. Using these values, we can calculate the volume of water inside the cylindrical cavity as at V igual a R2 L igual a Micro P X 0.07 M 2 X 0.5 M is gelijk aan 0.001539 M3 Now we can use the formula I provided earlier to calculate the resonant frequency of the cylindrical cavity. F igual a C R2-2V. Substituting the values we have. F igual a. Micro P. X 1498 metrów na sekundę X. 0.07 metrów. 2.2 X 0.001539 M3. F 1162 Hz. Therefore. The fundamental resonant frequency of the cylindrical cavity filled with water enclosed on both sides is approximately 1162 Hz. What would be the other modes? In addition to the fundamental mode, a cylindrical cavity with closed ends can have other resonant frequencies called the higher order modes or harmonics. These higher order modes correspond to vibrations that have more nodal points than the fundamental mode. The frequency of these higher order modes is integer multiples of the fundamental frequency, and they can be calculated using the following formula. formula Fn igual a Nf1. Where, Fn equals resonant frequency of the nth harmonic. N igual a integer, 1, 2, 3. F underscore 1 equals fundamental resonant frequency for the cylindrical cavity filled with water enclosed on both sides that we calculated earlier. The fundamental resonant frequency is approximately 1162 Hz. The frequency of the second harmonic would be twice the fundamental frequency. 2x 1162 Hz equals 2324 Hz. The frequency of the third harmonic would be three times the fundamental frequency. 3x 1162 Hz equals 3486 Hz, and so on. The exact frequency values of the higher order modes depend on the specific dimensions of the cavity and the speed of sound in the medium. Sebosfato. What would be the Q factor in this case? I imagine very high, the Q factor, also known as the quality factor, is a measure of how long a resonator can sustain an oscillation once it has been excited. It is defined as the ratio of the resonant frequency to the bandwidth of the resonator at half power. A higher Q factor indicates a more efficient resonator with a narrower bandwidth. For a cylindrical cavity with closed ends, 
The Q factor can be approximated using the following formula. K igual a 2 F1 VC 2 A. Where F underscore 1 equals fundamental resonant frequency, Greek small letter rho equals density of water, V equals volume of the cavity, Greek small letter EDA equals viscosity of water, C equals speed of sound in water, A equals cross sectional area of the cavity. Substituting the values we used earlier, F1 igual a 1162 hertz. Greek small letter rho equals 1000 kg per meter 3, density of water at room temperature. V igual a 0.001539 M3. Greek small letter EDA equals 1.002 x 10 minus 3 PA dot S viscosity of water at room temperature. C equals 1498 meters per second, speed of sound in water at room temperature. A igual a R2 igual a. Micro P. X. 0.07 metros. 2 igual a 0.015385 M2. Plugging these values into the formula. K igual a. V o P. X 1162 hertz. X 1000 kg M3. X 0.001539 M3. Slash. 1002 x 10 min 3 pa s x, 1498 meter per seconde, 2 x 0.015385 m2. Q 1.4 x 10 6. Therefore, the Q factor of this cylindrical cavity filled with water and closed on both sides is very high, approximately 1.4 x 10 6. This indicates that the cavity can sustain oscillations for a long time once excited and has a very narrow bandwidth with Cebosfato. If I wanted to drive it with a circular plate of stainless steel 304 material with same diameter, what would need to be the thickness so I can make it resonate at same frequency? To calculate the thickness of the circular plate of stainless steel 304 material that would need to be driven to resonate at the same frequency as the cylindrical cavity, we can use the following formula. F igual a M. V o P. X. R 2 is a X. E. Rho, mi ven, pende. De. Where, F equals resonant frequency. C. M igual a mod number um for fundamental. R equals radius of the circular plate. A equals mass density per unit area of the circular plate. E equals Young's modulus of the circular plate material. Greek small letter rho equals density of the circular plate material. We want the resonant frequency of the circular plate to be the same as the resonant frequency of the cylindrical cavity, which we calculated earlier to be approximately 1162 Hz. Therefore, we can substitute this value for F and solve for the thickness of the circular plate, assuming all other parameters are known. The mass density per unit area A of stainless steel 304 is approximately 7.93 kg per meter 2. The Young's modulus of stainless steel 304 is approximately 193 GPa, and the density is approximately 8,000 kg per meter 3. Using the radius of the cylindrical cavity, 0 0.07 meters as the radius of the circular plate, we can solve for the required thickness. 162 Hz igual a 1. VOP. X. Micro P. X 0.07 circonflesso 2A. X, 193X 10 circonflesso 98000. Simplifying the equation and solving for the thickness, thickness equals Micro P. X 0.072, slash, 1162 hertz X. VOP. X, 8000 slash 193 X 109, X 103. Thickness, almost equal to 2.96 X 10 minus 3 meters or 2.96 millimeters. Therefore, to drive the circular plate of stainless steel 304 material to resonate at the same frequency as the cylindrical cavity, its thickness should be approximately 2.96 mm. Note that this calculation assumes that the circular plate is clamped at its edge and is not subjected to any other external forces or loads. If the circular plate is subjected to external forces or loads, Additional calculations would be needed to account for their effect on the resonant frequency and required thickness. 
If I wanted to hit with the fifth harmonic, what would be the thickness? To calculate the thickness of the circular plate of stainless steel 304 material, that would need to be driven to resonate at the fifth harmonic of the fundamental frequency of the cylindrical cavity. We can use the following formula. formula. F igual a M. V o P. X. R 2 a X. I. E. Rho. Mi then. Pende. Where, F equals resonant frequency, M equals Mo number, 5 for the fifth harmonic, R equals radius of the circular plate, A equals mass density per unit area of the circular plate, E equals Young's modulus of the circular plate material, Greek small letter Rho equals density of the circular plate material. We can substitute the values we used earlier for the density, mass density per unit area, and Young's modulus of stainless steel 304. However, we need to calculate the resonant frequency for the fifth harmonic. The resonant frequency for the fundamental mode of the cylindrical cavity was approximately 1162 Hz. So the resonant frequency for the fifth harmonic would be F5 igual a 5x1162 Hz igual a 5810 Hz. Substituting this value for F and solving for the thickness, 810 Hz igual a 5. VOP. X. Micro P. X 0.07 circonflesso 2A, X, 193X 10 circonflesso 98000, 0.5. Simplifying the equation and solving for the thickness, thickness equals 5X. Micro P. X 0.072, slash. 5818 Hz x VOP x 8000 x 10 x Thickness, almost equal to 0.98 x 10 minus 3 meters or 0.98 millimeters. Therefore, to drive the circular plate of stainless steel 304 material to resonate at the fifth harmonic of the fundamental frequency of the cylindrical cavity, its thickness should be approximately 0.98 mm. Note that this calculation also assumes that the circular plate is clamped at its edge and is not subjected to any other external forces or loads. If the circular plate is subjected to external forces or loads, Additional calculations would be needed to account for their effect on the resonant frequency and required thickness. thickness. Se bosfato, tu. If the cavity had 20% of its volume fill with air and it's in the vertical direction, so the upside is empty space, how it would change the frequency of the cavity? The presence of air in the cavity will change the resonant frequency of the system. This is because the acoustic velocity and density of air are different from those of water. Also, the boundary conditions at the water-air interface will be different from those at the water-cylinder interface, which can affect the resonant frequency as well. In general, when a cylindrical cavity is partially filled with a fluid and the top portion is filled with air, it can exhibit two types of resonant modes, the liquid-filled mode and the air cavity mode. The liquid-filled mode is similar to the mode of a completely filled cavity that we discussed earlier, while the air cavity mode is the mode of an empty cylindrical cavity with one open end and one closed end. These two modes will have different resonant frequencies. To estimate the effect of the presence of air on the resonant frequency of the system, we can use a simple model that assumes the air cavity mode is dominant. This is a reasonable assumption if the height of the air gap is significant compared to the wavelength of the sound in water. In this case, the resonant frequency of the system can be approximated by F igual 2N1, X virgula 4 horas. Where, N is the mode number, 1, 2, 3. C is the speed of sound in water. H is the height of the air gap. Substituting the values we used earlier for the speed of sound in water and the height of the cavity, and using N equals 1, the fundamental mode, we get, get F igual a 2x1, x1480 m por segundo, 4x0.05 m x0.2, igual a 370 Hz. Therefore, the resonant frequency of the partially filled cylindrical cavity with an air gap of 20% of its volume and height of 0.05 meter can be estimated to be approximately 370 Hz. This is lower than the resonant frequency of the completely filled cylindrical cavity we calculated earlier, which was approximately 1162 Hz. However, 
This is a rough estimate and the actual resonant frequency may be different due to the interaction of the liquid filled and air cavity modes. In the example before you were considering the steel disc in open air or with one side watt. Or with one side water and the other air. In the example before, I assumed that the stainless steel disc was driving the cylindrical cavity with both sides of the cavity completely filled with water. In that case, the disc was acting as a piston to create pressure waves inside the water-filled cavity. If one side of the cylindrical cavity is in contact with air and the other side is filled with water, the situation becomes more complex. In this case, the steel disc will need to be designed to create pressure waves in the air and water media simultaneously which can be difficult. One way to approach this problem would be to design the steel disc to resonate at a frequency that matches the fundamental mode of the air-water cavity, as this will produce the largest amplitude of pressure waves. The resonant frequency of the steel disc can be calculated using the formula F equals V, 2 asterisk pi asterisk r asterisk sqrt, density asterisk thickness, where V is the speed of sound in steel, R is the radius of the steel disc, density is the density of steel, thickness is the thickness of the steel disc. Assuming the same dimensions as before, radius of 7 centimeters and frequency of 1162 hertz, we can solve for the required thickness of the steel disc to resonate at the fifth harmonic frequency. F5 igual a 5x1162 Hz igual a 5810 Hz. Density of steel equals 7850 kg per meter 3. V equals 5900 meters per second. Approximate speed of sound in stainless steel 304. Plugging these values into the formula and solving for the thickness gives thickness equals V. 2 asterisk pi asterisk r asterisk sqrt, density asterisk f underscore 5 equals 0.012 meters or 12 millimeters. Therefore, the required thickness of the stainless steel disc to drive the fifth harmonic mode of the cylindrical cavity with one side in contact with air and the other side filled with water would be approximately 12 millimeters. Regenerate response. Chat GPT February 13th version. Free research preview. Our goal is to make AI systems more natural and safe to interact with. Your feed. No problem. If we assume that both ends of the cylindrical cavity are completely closed with water and there is no air inside the cavity, then the resonant frequency of the fundamental mode can be calculated using the formula F igual a V virgula 2 L where V is the speed of sound in water, L is the length of the cylindrical cavity. Assuming a length of 0.5 meters and the speed of sound in water at room temperature, approximately 1,500 meters per second, we get F igual a 1500,20.5, igual a 1500 Hz. If we wanted to excite the fifth harmonic mode, the resonant frequency would be B. F5 igual a 5F igual a 7500 Hz. To design a stainless steel disc that resonates at this frequency, we would use the same formula as before, but substitute the value of F underscore 5 for F. Thickness equals V. 2 asterisk pi asterisk r asterisk sqrt, density asterisk f underscore 5 equals 0.0013 meters or 1.3 millimeters. So, 
the required thickness of the stainless steel disc to excite the fifth harmonic mode of the cylindrical cavity completely filled with water and closed on both sides would be approximately 1.3 millimeters. If I push the stell like a guitar string, I could have a higher frequency? Yes. If you pluck the stainless steel disc like a guitar string, you could excite higher frequency modes of vibration. The exact frequencies that are excited will depend on the boundary conditions and other physical properties of the system, such as the stiffness of the steel disc, the tension in the disc, and the mass of the disc. In general, when you excite a system with an impulse or a sudden force, the system will vibrate at its natural frequencies, which are determined by its physical properties. The natural frequencies of a system are typically called its modes of vibration. For a circular plate like the stainless steel disc, the natural frequencies of vibration can be approximated by the formula Fn igual C,2 π 1.10122JNR 2 where C is the speed of sound in the material, Jn is the nth zero of the Bessel function of the first kind, R is the radius of the plate. For a steel disc with a radius of 7 cm, the fundamental mode of vibration would occur at a frequency of around 1162 Hz. Plucking the disc to excite higher modes of vibration would produce frequencies that are multiples of the fundamental frequency. It's important to note that the modes of vibration produced by plucking the disc would not necessarily match the resonant frequencies of the water-filled cylindrical cavity. However, if you were to excite the steel disc at a frequency that matches one of the resonant frequencies of the cylindrical cavity, you could create a standing wave inside the cavity that could be used for various applications, such as acoustic sensing or signal processing. I'm talking about tensioning the steel plate like if it were a guitar string or like a drum instrument tuning. Ah, I see what you mean now. If you tensioned the steel plate by stretching it like a guitar string, you would change the frequency at which it vibrates, as well as the modes of vibration that are excited. When you tension the steel plate, you are essentially changing the stiffness and mass of the plate, which can affect its natural frequencies of vibration. In general, increasing the tension in the steel plate would increase the speed of sound in the material, which would result in higher natural frequencies of vibration. To calculate the natural frequencies of a tension circular plate, you can use the formula Fn equals 1, 2 asterisk pi asterisk sqrt tension density asterisk r2 asterisk n R2, where tension is the tension in the plate, density is the density of the material, R is the radius of the plate, and is the mode of vibration, I, 1 for the fundamental mode, 2 for the first harmonic, etc. As you can see from the formula, the natural frequencies of a tension circular plate depend on the tension, density, and radius of the plate, as well as the mode of vibration. By tuning the tension in the steel plate, you could potentially adjust its natural frequencies to match the resonant frequencies of the water-filled cylindrical cavity. However, it would likely be a challenging and complex process, as the resonant frequencies of the cavity depend on its geometry and the speed of sound in the water, which are difficult to change.
Thanks for watching. Please like the video and share with your friends. Also follow us. We are going to get there. Thanks for all the support. You're welcome. However, as an AI language model, I don't have the ability to like or share videos or follow social media accounts. But I'm always here to help with any questions you have.